Keep it quiet. She's just having so much fun on this helicopter ride. She she's just enjoying herself. And she she's just bending over for Snake. What? My man Snake just enjoying the view. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's your boy Sorrow. And today we're going to talk about customization. The level of customization you can actually get into Metal Gear. Now, when it comes down to the customization, guys, you can customize everything from your weapons, your helicopters, your vehicles, your buddy equipment, your emblem, base color, all that, etc. etc. Cetera, et cetera, right? But my key focus on this video is not only the customization you can do to everything else, but definitely your weapons. Because when multiplayer drops, I believe this is going to be probably the selling point to the multiplayer because you're going to see a whole lot of people with different color weapons and uh, different caliber weapons, right? So, as you can see right here, it has different settings, of course. You could basically just put a different weapon there for different situations if you want to choose one faster during your loadout and different things like that. But, let's get into it. So, right now, guys, you see I have the tranquilizer gun. Now, with that being said, you know what? Let me let me actually do this. Let me go to this pistol because I can probably cuss. No, I can't. I even cuss my boy. <laughs> so, all right, we're start off with the tranquilizer gun. So, as you can see, I can customize everything from the barrel, the magazine, the stock, the muzzle, the muzzle accessory, everything, right? Now, of course, on this weapon, I cannot touch the barrel. But let's say if I wanted to change the magazine, I don't like the way the black look, right? I could change it to seven. I could change it to ten, no matter how much way I want it to look. But it also hurts my um my ammo count. I can customize everything from the suppressor, how I want the suppressor to look. Do I want it big and bulky? Do I want it slim? Or if I don't want one at all, I just want to be loud when I'm just knocking people down, right? Uh, and also when it comes to the flashlight, you can add a flashlight, of course, to your weapon if you want to do that. Um, and then last but not least, when it comes to the color, now the color designs in this guy looks really good, I have to say. I love the way the colors look, and I still didn't unlock like four other colors yet. But I love the way the colors actually look. And let's say, for instance, if you want some kind of camo pattern, you can add a camo pattern as well. So that's how it looks. And it looks really nice, to be honest. Um, we're going to go ahead and apply that. Now, to the submachine guns, I will show you how the customization looks on the submachine guns. Um, of course, same thing. You can change the mag size. On this, you can also change the stock if I unlock more stocks and everything for that. I'm using my submachine guns a lot. Um, you have the muzzle um, accessory, of course. I can make it smaller, skinnier, big, whatever I want it to look like. And this is how the camos actually look on the um, submachine gun. Now, when it comes down to the color, this is just like the pistol. The color is only going to really apply to the handle of the weapon. Nothing more, right? So, where so when it comes to the camo pattern, it applies to the whole entire weapon. Right? So, just make sure I point that out. Um, so we're going to do assault rifles. And as you can see, this is my custom assault rifle right here. On the assault rifle, as you can see, I just customized the barrel. When it comes down to the barrel accessory, I can do different barrels. As you see right there, it's just switching up. I, if I want some kind of uh, SVG barrel, I have that way. Where So if I was doing it with no scope, my uh, iron sights look different. I have different, you know, you can unlock different barrels, right? And it tells you right there in the bottom left what's the, you know, what's the perk of having it. Um... Same thing, you could change different magazines as well. As you see, reload speed is up with this one. With these, it's basically just basic. Uh, also, you could change the stock. And as you can see, again, this kind of going ahead and tells you, you know, what it what it does in the bottom left corner. Same thing with the muzzle, which I think is pretty cool. You know, you got a whole bunch of different muzzles. You can go ahead and apply to it if you want to. And, of course, the muzzle accessories, it's kind of straightforward. And you could do things like... Rifle scopes, ranges, dot sights, different things like that. Uh, you know, you can add a little flashlight, you can add a laser sight, and if you want something under barrel, you can add a foregrip, or you can go on ahead and add a grenade launcher. Now, of course, you can go ahead and um, you, you add more things as you unlock them. And this is how the camo patterns actually look on the assault rifles. Now, when it comes to the colors, this is what the colors apply to, as you can see, basically the stock, the handle, and the foregrip. So... Let me do it properly. There we go. All right. So let's go to the shotguns. Now, the shotgun, same thing. I don't use the shotguns a lot. And as you can see, basically, you just got the stock and you have color. So if, now, the one thing about the color, it basically goes across the whole entire shotgun except for the barrel. So, yeah, that's how it looks. Boom, boom. All right. Now, when it comes to the grenade launcher, guys, same thing. I don't usually use the grenade launcher a lot. But you can also change, do the same thing here. Change up the stocks if you like to. Um, put a range fight on there. You can, if you want to, put a little red dot on there. And same thing, change the color of it, which this will only apply to the handle, where so the camo pattern applies to the whole entire weapon. Snipers, on the other hand, as you can see, I got basically an all yellow kind of camo look sniper. Now, with the snipers, you can control the barrel. You know, same thing, however you want the barrel you want to look. Um, same thing with the muzzle. You can control how you want the muzzle to be. 
same price is straightforward optic straightforward the colors are kind of straightforward but the colors on this applies to the whole entire weapon again so that's pretty hot you know you can actually do that which i which personally i like a lot i like how you can add the plain color to the whole entire weapon where so most weapons you can only add it to the handle well it's like a big handle <laughs> but let's look at the lmg guys i don't use the lmg a lot either um but you can customize the barrel size how you want the magazine to look um same thing with the muzzle the muzzle accessory and the color and this is how the colors actually look on the lmg um and when it comes to the plain color you know only highlights certain ones so uh that's how that looks there and last but not least the rocket launcher but you can't really do anything to that thing anyway so when it comes down to weapons that's the customizations you can actually do in the game where so in the helicopter this is what you can do your own helicopter you can change it up for different chassis um as you see this lowers my dispatch time um i can do rockets i can increase my rocket stopping power i can basically do air to ground missiles which are really cool if i want them to um now of course you only have eight of these and 32 of these so to add more stopping power i can increase my flares uh upgrade capacity and add more armor if i unlocked it and this is how the colors actually look as you see the all gold look at that um <laughs> all chrome but you know you can customize the vehicle any way you want it to look like which is pretty cool but when it comes to the camo pattern this is what you can do now i hope this is something that's really really big in multiplayer like you can customize like little things like that as well but i highly doubt it when it comes to vehicles the same thing for vehicles it's kind of uh, straightforward you know the plain colors on the vehicles covers uh, basically the entire whole vehicle um and same thing with the count patterns you can do the same thing normally depending on what vehicle it is i highlight a different color so depending on what the top speed is um which one's the fastest like you see i got this one blue so kind of know and when it comes down to the tanks uh you can make the tank look baller if you want to you know you want the tank to look baller or you want to show that you're a pimp you know you, you don't play around you got money like that you know you, you, you got money you can do whatever you want or you just want to be bright and let them know you're on your way there you can do that if you want to so basically this is like the customizations you can actually do in the game um and of course you have your buddy equipment where you can customize your buddy clothing guns and different things like that kind of straightforward your emblem your base color and your avatar now your avatar will most likely be used for multiplayer um when it comes down to the base color it only uses plain color so depending on what you pick is how your base is going to look now normally i have the default gray and it, you know for default but that's just me again so guys i hope you did enjoy this video please subscribe give this video a thumbs up guys if you have any questions for me comment below and i have a lot more metal gear solid videos on the way guys i'm out Peace.